Hi, everybody. Welcome, wherever you are. Welcome to my July full moon ceremony, uh, which is actually a lunar eclipse. It is even more powerful because on the full moon, that's when everything pops, everything happens. And I'm going to tell you where it falls in your solar chart. You're going to want to know where it falls in your earth chart. Um, so let me tell you, the lunar eclipse, which falls between July 4th and 5th in the United States, depending on what time zone you're in. Uh, and those of you around the world will naturally want to convert this uh, lunar eclipse uh, from Eastern daylight time to your uh, time zone. So the full moon, the lunar eclipse, is in 13 Capricorn 38. Find that in your birth chart because that's the area of life where things come to a head, where they go pop. And um, I'm going to tell you where this falls in your solar chart. Now keep in mind, because it's an eclipse, it's going to be with us till the next couple of eclipses come along in November and December, okay? Uh, so it's very exciting. If this eclipse falls on your sun, your moon, or your ascendant, this is a new life eclipse. It's not a new chapter. It's an entirely new book, and it's very, very exciting for you, and it will last uh, way longer than the average eclipse, a couple of years at various times and certain people's charts. So this is a whole new life for you. So let me tell you where this falls in your solar chart. Let's start with Capricorn because this eclipse is in Capricorn. This falls in your first house and this says do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want, because it's your turn. Aquarius it falls in your solar 12th house of the spirit plane and working behind the scenes and the subconscious. So pull back, retreat, go off by yourself if you need to, and listen to the voice of spirit speaking to you <clears throat> very quietly through your subconscious. Pisces, it's in your solar 11th house of friends and groups and hopes and wishes. Boy, isn't that Piscean? Spend time with your friends, enjoy them, turn to them when you need help and turn to them when they need help. Because it's time, as you know, to be a friend to all when you have an eclipse in your 11th house. Okay, Aries, it's in your 10th house of career and public image, so move upward. Climb, no lateral moves for you. If you're offered an advancement at work, go for it. Be the leader. Taurus, this eclipse is in your solar ninth house. You see the big picture. Your beliefs are what you're looking at. You wanna get out of Dodge, you wanna go along. Um, you see things that you haven't seen before in clear vision. Gemini. This eclipse is in your eighth house of secrets and transformation. Mundanely, it's other people's money, helping with other, helping other people with their money, uh, mutually um, fulfilling financial projects. However, I would wait until after Mercury goes direct on the 12th, because those projects, you want them to go forward smoothly, you want them to succeed naturally. And this is a time of transformation for you, emotional transformation. I love it. Cancerians, it's in your seventh house of partnerships. Put the other person in your life first. If there is no other person, it's time to get out there and find them. Leo, great grand glorious Leo, it's in your solar sixth house of work, health, and service. And it's time to look at your job. It's time to help your health and to serve in everything that you do. 
Virgo. It's in your solar fifth house, so it's time for fun. If you have kids, they may want to be part of your fun. So leave time for them. Otherwise, just party and have a ball. Libra, this lunation, this full moon, this lunar eclipse is in your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. And so domestic issues come up to be dealt with and will come to a head so that you can handle them. Are you thinking of moving, renovating, connecting with family? All of that is what we're talking about. Scorpio, this eclipse is in your solar third house of the conscious mind, communication, uh, not big picture details, ideas. So share your ideas with anyone who will listen. And last but not least, Sagittarius. This eclipse is in your solar second house. Your financial picture can come to a head. Put out to the universe what you want because you can get it, you can have it with this eclipse in your second house of finances. So I hope you have your list of what you want in front of you because the next step in my our full moon ceremony is always the burning of our lists. We have to burn them to release them. It's, it's something for the mind to do because uh, otherwise we tend to hang on to them and we need to let go of them so that God can deliver what we want. And I'm just gonna take one last look. And I'm going to put them in my burning bowl. I'm going to create fire in a moment. Uh, I've been do since uh, I've been doing these um, full moon ceremonies from my living room. I'm just thrilled that I'm able to uh, light the fire. I've not been a fire person. And those of you who've been to my full moon ceremonies know I always have a fire starter there, a human being who will. Do the fire. Oh, this is wonderful. Here we go. And so I'm burning my list and you burn yours because we want to release this to the universe so that it will come to us. We don't know when, but it will come to us tenfold if we totally release it to God, to source to spirit. And normally, as you know, I have a huge flower pot and everybody takes a turn putting their lists in the fire and burning them. Some paper burns better than others, I've noticed. This one is not quite making up its mind what it wants to do, but it's still, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's still burning. Uh, the smoke is coming out of it. And so we send this out to the universe, out to the universe, out to the universe, uh, knowing that what we want is on the way to us. And in the second part of our ceremony, of course, those of you who've been to my ceremonies before know uh, that we are going to create exactly what we want. Um, we don't know the way it's going to manifest. So what you want to do is move into the feeling of having what you want as this burning bowl continues to burn. And th this is really cool because the paper that I use does not usually burn too long. I'm, I'm not sure why, probably because I'm not into fire. So the fire has stopped and you take as much time as you need to, to burn your list. Put, put the video on pause if you need to, to burn your list. And if there are several of you around a circle, Everybody burns their list, of course. 
And when it's burnt, we have used fire, earth, I have some earth in my bowl, air, and water. And you know, those of you who've been to the Phoenix and Dragon, they have a, a, a pond on the right next to the patio. And usually uh, I have all 50 or 60 people step over to the pond, take a little water in the palm of their hand and put it out, put, put it over the fire and put it out. Since it's just me and the, and the cat who's sleeping, I'll add the water myself. And we have fire, earth, air, and water. And so we are complete with that part of our ceremony. Now, part two, there are actually three parts to the ceremony. Um, and those of you who have attended know that it gets better and better and better. So, we have burned our lists. And now what we're going to do is um, move into love because when you're in a state of love, that's the best way to create what you want. It, it's just that simple. Um, if you put your hand on your heart, and I'm gonna move this down just a teeny bit. I'm gonna put my hand on my heart and that means I'm focusing on it. And the heart is love. And as we stand here or sit here, or if you're lying down, we naturally move into a state of love. There's no judgment, there's no mental activity, there's just love. And the only thing holding us back from having what we want is our programming. And so we're going to bypass that by taking our hand, our right hand from our heart and still staying in love. Ask God, ask source, ask the universe, ask spirit to place in your right hand the thing that you want more than anything in the world. You know what it is. Don't think about it. Just if it's a feeling, put the feeling there. How do you want to feel? Because we create on an emotion. Put that there in your right hand. Then in your left hand, extend your right hand, extend your left hand. Ask God to show you what is blocking you. It is part of your programming. And immediately, you will be shown or told or feel who or what is blocking you. And the difference between these two is day and night. And all you do when you feel, when you know what your block is, it just takes a second. If your mind is going round and round, just tell your mind to hush. And if it shows up as a feeling, depression, sorrow, sadness, fear, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's in your left hand. Take it, pull your left arm back and toss it out to the universe. Get rid of it. Now, what is left is what you want. And very often, we have given our power away to other people. In fact, if we're coming from our programming, we have given our power away to a job, to money, to a spouse, to something that we learned in childhood that gives us a not good enough message. Doesn't matter what it is, it's there. And what we are going to do now as a, as a team all around the world, and you can do this anytime you want. Hang on to this video. Maybe next week it really kicks in for you. And what we're going to do is go back 
to our child, to the moment we were born, when we were pure spirit, before we, have been, before we were programmed, before we were got, given the not good enough message and told that we can't do what we want to do or that we're bad for wanting that or that that's not what our people do. Whatever, the, whatever lie you bought about your talents and abilities, because remember, you are source energy in a physical body. You can accomplish anything. So we go back to the minute you were born, and I'm going to carry you through a simple technique that works every time. You're going to say, I, followed by your full name at birth. Your full name, no um, married names, you weren't married then. No uh, nicknames, but the name you were given when you were born. And I'm going to show you how you can take back your heart and your soul and your mind and your body and Finally, your life. When you take back your life, you are in control. You are actually in charge. Control comes from fear. So we'll, if you come from control, you just let go of the control. And your body is yours. Your heart, your soul, your mind, your body. And a couple of other things that I think you'll enjoy. So... Put your hand back on your heart. And uh, we will start at the count of three. I, followed by your full name, one, two, three. T I, with your full name, take back my heart. That allows you to love. Take back my soul, which is part of God. Take back my mind. This allows you to think for yourself. I take back my body. This is the house of God. It's your body. No one has a right to harm it. I take back my honor. Gives you confidence. I take back my self-respect. I take back my God-given powers. I take back my life. And stay there, stay in that space. You can go through this um, exercise, for lack of a better name, anytime you want to. And if you are ready to let go of your programming and take back your life in a session with me, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Go to the spiritual coaching tab and you'll find take back your life if you're ready now at this point and and stay in love stay in that feeling of love in that space normally now i go around the patio we usually have 40, 50, 60, on an eclipse, 70 or 80 people. And I give everybody a mantra. I read everyone there. Give them a mantra. Because you're not in my living room right now. I have these wonderful cards that I created that have only beautiful, positive, uplifting uh, words on them. <clears throat> and you are invited, if you choose to, to 
accept them as your own uh, because after all we are one from all over the world people from all over the world are watching this now and it feel good to know that this is how we create peace this is how we create love so the first mantra for you let it rip we did that once before so what this is telling me is it's time light workers uh, star seeds walk-ins angelic beings healers it's time step forward what is going on in the world right now this is the reason that's the reason we incarnated it is time for us to spread our wings, to share in our own environment. It is time to let it rip. If not now, when? If not you, who? Okay. You are limitless, except I am limited, limitless. If you're in a group, everybody say, it. I am limitless. Doesn't that feel good? If you're by yourself, you make a difference. I make a difference. So you're hearing it. You and I. I love this part. Claim your wealth. I claim my wealth. You are funny. I am funny. You know, we need laughter now more than ever. Uh, I don't mean laughter at what's going on because it's just unthinkable what's going on. Um, but funny things, sweetly funny things. People listen when you speak. I bet some of you are afraid that they won't. People listen when I speak. Say that. People listen when I speak. Claim your power. I claim my power. And it's your God-given power. <clears throat> Don't worry about your ego stepping in. If it's from God, if it's God-given, your ego will stay out of the picture. One word, transformation. Just say it, transformation. Here's what I would add. Why don't you say, I transform this planet. Now you don't do it single-handedly, so your ego's not gonna get into it. You are working with a team of light workers. We are all doing that because we're coming from love. You are brilliant. I am brilliant. I'm being told to, uh, get 12 mantras, so we've got three more to go. You have strength. I have strength. Do you want to say, I am strong? You can modify that, I am strong. You are radiantly healthy. I am radiantly healthy. What a perfect mantra for our world today. And the last one. You are God made manifest. I am God made manifest. 
we are God made manifest. And we can do anything we choose. Anything. We're not alone. All you have to do is put your hand on your heart and feel the presence of God. So, till we meet again next month, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Peace and love.